Greetings, Mac Warriors. This is TGB speaking. Do you see this beauty on screen right now? The Atlas AS7. In this case is a DDC model. That is a mech that we will talk about later. For now, we are taking out the Atlas 7S. That differs from the mech that you just saw, just in one little detail. One SRM6 rack, more and no ECM. And I also want to change up the format for this video a little bit. So today, we're gonna have the games first, and then afterwards I'm gonna talk about the builds. I think that is uh, maybe a better way of uh, getting right to the action, as opposed to talking about the build at length beforehand. But uh, it is actually entirely up to you guys, so let me know what you think down in the comments below. So maybe we can mix it up, or maybe we can keep it the way it has been forever. Oh well, almost forever. Alrighty, so... Let us jump right into the action here on Frozen City. I cut a little bit off the beginning of the match because it was just some boring NASCAR action from Echo 3 to Echo 4, Fox 4 and Fox 5 and now we finally decided we want to hold our base and take on the enemy head on. So the motto of today's video is definitely Atlas pushing power and Atlas survivability power. So uh, be prepared, this one's gonna get bloody. <laughs> So right now I'm trying to really defend our base a little bit, shoot at any enemies that present themselves, however, the danger right now, or the challenge right now is that I am fighting uphill, so I need to be very careful not to hit the ground with my weapons, that would be pretty bad. I'm trying to shoot that cicada right here. Come on. No. Okay, that was a hit. Here we go. Irby rocks out, and rightfully so. Alright, so I'm moving to the left side here to try and, uh, oh, combat this next cicada or Jenna, whatever that was. And then I see, okay, I've got a firing line facing me and I need help right now. I really need help because I am out in the open, I am all alone and there is a lot of enemies that are actually looking at me. And that is not good. So, my arm is almost dead, I've got a banshee shooting me. Ouch, the pain, the suffering and the AC-20 is gone. Uh, I'm still calling for help, and finally the team is starting to show some movement forward, but they're still very hesitant, so at this point I'm just like, oh, uh, I don't like you guys either, so I'm just gonna go left-hand side here and try and hide somewhere here. Alright, so we got four SRM-6 launchers with 400 ammo, that is it for the rest of this Atlas. Um, if you look at our mechs, well we have a Cody that also talks on fire, but we have an awesome at 100% and a Banshee at 84, so they clearly haven't been doing their job so far. Um, well, what can you say? No use in complaining, let's just go ahead and push forward and harass that Banshee a little bit as much as we can. That was actually a pretty good hit. Another good hit in. Yeah, his CT is open. Very nice. Here we go. Long range SRM snipe on the enemy Banshee. So that was pretty nice. There is a Marauder coming up now. He is almost dead as well. Some guy is laser vomiting. Left hand side, Fox 4, Echo 4. And my CT is pretty open right now, but I'm still able to fight, which is a good thing. Um, let's see what we can do over here. So unfortunately this Atlas push really was cut short by the team literally pussying out. And that is the problem in most cases where you run an Atlas. Um, you will be on voice comms, you will be chatting with a team and at some point they will just for some reason decide to stop. So if you're doing an Atlas push, that is uh, very important what I'm saying now, make sure you constantly talk to the team and you constantly verbally in a friendly manner push them onwards because otherwise at some point they will just stop and that you die <laughs> uh, oh well okay so with that being said though um, I like how the match is going so far I was in a big brawl I got a lot of fire my way I've got 83 no 38 percent in my atlas um, critical damage right now, 34%. We are two kills up. I'm gonna ask for help. I have no idea why our team is so spread out right now, but that's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and go in now to help out our buddy at Echo 3. And there is... Oh! Even Jaguar! Laser vomit! Of course! Perfect! 
What else? What else would you show me? Yeah, wrong hit, buddy. Come on. All right. Talks so twisting like a boss. Come on. Yes, shoot me. <laughs> I actually did. All right. So see what I did there. I actually decided not to take that final shot with the SRMs in favor of torso twisting, and that now allows me to be a little bit more annoying towards that enemy thunderbolt. And actually got a team kill from I think LRMs or something like that. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So, what I wanted to do here, of course, is present myself as a target. Um, sometimes the enemy takes the bait and wastes a full alpha strike on an almost dead atlas. In this case, however, uh, it didn't it didn't really work as well as promised or as well as thought out. But at least the enemy was forced to divert his course and actually like move into a wall, and that actually got him stuck there and killed. So, I guess it kind of worked. All right. Last enemy up is a dead battle master. Learn boat. Ah. Okay. So let's have a look at the final score before we go into more of today's topic. Atlas pushing. So two killing blows, five assists, one solo kill, five hundred four damage done, eight components taken out. That's okay, I guess. That is okay, I guess. So as you could see, the Atlas, again, lots of stopping power, lots of tanking power, even more so. And uh, let's have a quick look at how that looks like on this beautiful map, Crimson Straight. Well, it doesn't look so crimson to me right now, the uh, River Bay area here looks a little bit more like, I don't know, brownish? <laughs> Maybe they should call it mud straight, but whatever. So we're pushing out here on the Fox 5 side and I'm just setting my team up now for a tunnel push. Because if I have an Atlas DDC that is the one that has three SRM6s and a Guardian ECM, I want to be the one to push through the tunnel. I really want to get a big death ball going with me and then use that to push into the enemy and just literally end the game within minutes. Because that is what you can do. That's the power of an Atlas. Um, however, it only works when your team pushes with you. If they don't push with you, if they uh, decide to turn around halfway because they got an enemy looking their way somewhat funny and they feel pee pee in their pants, then, well, you're likely going to die. So it's a little bit of a roll of the dice all the time, but, uh, you know, just looking right here, what do we have? We have a grasshopper over here. That uh, looks like a friendly rifleman over there. Just gonna call for help right now. Alright. So let's just stop right here where we have some more movement room. And there's an enemy up there. Okay, we can't do anything about him. There's some fire coming from the tunnel. That's good to know. So, what do we have? We have a grasshopper with us. Thunderbolt. Rifleman. Oh, maybe rifleman. Two even jacks coming in. Okay, this is looking good. This is starting to look good. Yeah, yeah, I can work with that. The other fetters haven't uh, made their way there yet, but that's fine. So, let's go in, guys. This is the call, and I'm stuck on the corner. That's fine. Let's get moving. And introduce ourselves. Boom. Hello, King Crab. Got a big ass Atlas coming your way. And the good thing is, the pushbacker was actually blocking the King Crab from shooting, so that's perfect for me because I don't take his fire. Trying to toss twist as much as possible. There's a teammate coming in from the back even right now, so that is crazy. I'm just gonna move towards this side, give this guy one shot, and then just move through. And now turn around to finish the King Crab. Okay. Come on, King Crab. There we go. Alright. So. As you can see, team stopped to kill the king crab, and now we have two options. We could push through or we could push out. And I opt for the wrong option. What you go and you're gonna see why in a second. So I said okay, let's push out the tunnel. So one guy pushes out. I'm going through the tunnel, and the Thunderbolt decides he wants to go through the tunnel as well. And he doesn't find his back pedal for five seconds. So basically I'm stuck for five seconds in the tunnel while the enemy team is shooting me. And that means I am losing the SRM side of my mech. I now have one medium laser and one AC-20. Uh, so basically, I'm a I'm a big I'm a bigger, badder urban mech right now. With a lot more armor, but that's fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and still keep pushing because that is what I do. I hope that the team is actually moving their asses out now and 
you know what? They actually didn't. They, some of them turned around. <laughs> some of them turned around. That's fine. Still alive. Oh, look at that. Medium lasers and Nova Prime. Sweet. This guy really wants me. I think I think he knows me because he really really wants me. But buddy, I'm in an atlas. I can take some fire. Still around. Let's keep moving. Let's present our arm. Yep, the arm takes the hit. The enemy is taken out by our hunchback. We're still alive, and there's an attitude jumping around. Let's see if we can give him. Yeah, perfect. AC20 shell to the leg, so that actually opened him up pretty nicely. And he's done. Alright, at that point only one enemy alive, it is a lonely catapult. So let's go ahead and give him some AC-20 shells while we're at it. Yeah, bye bye, alright. So, long story short, my atlas is almost taken out, uh, I have 9 shells left in the uh, AC-20, and that was worth it. Um, the only criticism I would have for myself is... Uh, that botched push through the side entrance, shouldn't have done that. So one killing blow, 586 damage, one killing opponent destroyed, nothing much to say about this. Um, good push for the most part, then botched it up a little bit, but we were able to salvage it. Alright, final match for today, third match today, yeah that is right, third match for today, so go ahead and press that freaking thumbs up button right now. Okay. So as you can see, I actually cut off five minutes from this gameplay, and there is a reason for that. That is, that is literally five minutes of nothing here on Polar Highlands. We were just juking around the enemy team, nothing happening. Uh, I don't know. It's just easily one of the worst maps they ever made, and that's the reason for that. Way too big, doesn't force the teams into an engagement, and you just run around in circles. Uh, it's not good. All right. So. At that point in time, I see that there's an opening towards the Foxtrot 7 area where um, the enemy team has split a little bit. They are basically behind us Hotel 9, Hotel 8, as well as Fox 7. So I am right now recommending a murder ball hard push into that Fox 7 area. Um, team is a little bit too trigger happy though because uh, Kodiak, for example, moves in, takes all the fire. Uh, not the best choice if you're on a Kodiak and you have an Atlas with you that actually designed to take fire. Oh, that's fine. So, what, what kind of, uh, what do you say to somebody in an atlas that's about to go into a melee range? You tell them one thing and one thing only. That is go nuts. So that is what we're gonna do here. I see the Nova presenting his ass, so you know what's gonna happen. Go ahead and to take him out through the back armor. Next customer, please. Timberwolf engaging our teammate into the back. Medium lasers take him out as well. Hello, buddy. Next. That yeah, was nice. All right. Got one SRM6 left, and the AC20 is face a pretty normal Warhawk. It has lots of armor left, so that's not gonna end well for me. However, still got the AC20. And what are you doing here, little kid fox? Oh, you, you wanna you wanna get funky with me? You wanna get funky with me? Hey, look at that! One shell, CT open. Second shell. Bye, bye, buddy. All right, and there's the warhawk again. Let's see, can we take him down? Almost. Well, that was almost the fifth kill here. Okay, let's keep pushing onward. Nine kills to eight. It is very, very close right now. That enemy awesome is almost dead. Let's see if we can actually help him in fully dying. Ah, not quite, not quite. There he goes. Okay, perfect. So, teammate left. We got uh, an enemy Night Gyro pushing in right now, and he is 100% fresh. Six AC2s, nothing I can do, unfortunately. He takes me out. Now it is one guy against two. And now the enemy team has won, unfortunately. So, Sadly, we lost this game, but this was a good push, and what I was saying, the game was decided in two minutes after the clash started to happen. Two minutes. And the rest of the match was just spent walking around, and I hate that. Four killing blows, 500 damage done, five kill assists, and lots of components taken out. Well, that was a good match in my books. Even though we lost, that was fun. Minus the five minutes of walking around. Okay. 
Let's go into the build of the DDC real quick, the Gypsy Danger as I call it. AC20, 3 tons of ammo, SRM6 plus Artemis and 3 tons of ammo, standard 350 engine, 2 medium lasers, Guardian ECM and armor up front with a little bit of the armor off from the legs because with an Atlas nobody's gonna shoot your legs, they are gonna shoot your torso. So you can easily do that. Alpha Strike Firepower 68.7, that is a lot of damage as well as 61 speed, that is actually Pretty fast for an atlas. Okay. Looking into the skill tree, I uh, got 18 points in firepower here for missile spread, as you can see, as well as missile rack, high explosive, and magazine capacity. But the firepower tree isn't really that important, in my opinion. It's actually more important to look at both survival and mobility. So, as you can see, survival, we're in an atlas, I'm taking all the bony that I can get in terms of armor and uh, internal structure. And mobility as well, I'm taking everything. Um, that might be a little bit too much, however, but I wanted to be able to torso twist as fast as possible. Alright, that has been today's video about the atlas pushing power. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you haven't done so yet, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, uh, let me know what you think of this video format, and uh, I'll be seeing you guys very soon. TTB, out!